Hello there theorists, Neil again, and in this quick video, I want to take a look once again at our paper trading, our thinkorswim platform. In particular, what I want to pay attention to today is the options chain and how to go in and customize the different columns that we have there. So, like I said, this will be a quick video, so let's get right to it. All right, so here I have our thinkorswim platform open once again we're in paper money we're simulated trading right up here and we have the watch list that we put on last time yours may be different remember in our previous video a link to it up here we have our um, watch list set to this number one and when we go to charts we also have the th same thing set to one so that when i click on a symbol inside of uh, the watch list over here all right, uh, let's say Adobe, right? Then that same thing happens over here. If you don't have the same color and number and you click on that, you won't see a change. So that was just a quick review. All right, so let's say that we're gonna go look at Apple. All right, we just happened to be in the charts view. That wasn't what I'm intending to cover today. But while I'm here, why don't I just go take a look at the most recent history over here. I can see that it looks like it's gotten up and boy has, uh, hopped all over the place, but stayed within a range. Maybe that gives me an idea of the kind of trade I want to put on, right? So thinking in options land, there's really two places you're going to see uh, the options chain. So inside of trade and inside of analyze, okay? So you can actually have two different customizations, which is kind of cool. Uh, so if I click on trade here, and we happen to have, we can see this is how the options chain would look when you first click it. All right. Um, so inside of here, we're inside of the options chain. And we can see whether or not the options are weeklies or if they're in the monthlies. We usually uh, uh, recommend sticking to monthlies because they're the most liquid, right? So there's 28 days here left in this monthly options chain. So let's say um, we want to take a look at that, right? Your strikes that you might see might be set to four, which is not a lot of strikes. So you could try 14. You could always type in a number here. So if I think I type in 16 and hit enter, that's how many strikes I'm going to see. But you might see there's default ones, or then there's all, which, boy, there sure is a lot, right? So let's go back to 14 because that's fine enough for me. Notice what... The real point here today is, uh, I guess, a tu tutorial, but also t just getting yourself familiar. On the left-hand side of your options chain, you'll find all of your calls, and on the right-hand side, you find your puts. Okay, the default columns that you have are bid, ask, last, and the net change. You can't customize these two. Um, there, they have to be here for buying and selling, right? Because if you want to sell an option, you're going to click on the bid. If you want to buy an option, you're going to click on the ask. And then over here, you can change these. So you can click here and change what you want them to be. Or they give you pre-built schemes over here, the, um, if you would, right? So if you wanted these, you could go with that. Volume and open interest, that might be something if you wanted to quickly change those two, you give that a click. It'll tell you how many uh, options contracts have traded today, right here in the volume, and how many are currently in existence in the wild, if you would, out in the market. So you can see plenty of activity during these monthly options um, for March of 2020. 28 days from now to expiration. So what we're going to do here is go back to this option and choose customize. What I like to see usually, and if we can always, if we mess this up, you can click on load defaults and it puts you back where you were. What I like to see is not these. So I'm going to double click this and it moves it to the left, or you can click on it and then choose remove item. For me, what I'm interested in seeing is Delta. So I can double click or choose add item. I guess I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I wanna double click. All right, and then I'm gonna scroll down over here to volume. I like to see those two. So I'm gonna click okay. And now I have my bid, ask, my delta, and my volume. Delta is a very useful Greek that helps uh, us understand quite a number of things. Um, but anyway, with that said, that's how you can customize your uh, options chain here but notice if i go over to another place where you might like to spend a lot of time is this analyze tab so here i have the same monthly options all right but notice it's not the same columns here so maybe over here instead of that you'd like to see the other greeks 
right? So you can have more than two. You can have, if you have a nice big wide monitor, you can have more, right? So at this point, you might say, I want to know my delta, my gamma, my theta, and my vega of, you know, you know uh, numbers. So I go back to my trade. You can see I'm back to the uh, same layout that I had before, okay? So I guess just for ha-has, even though this isn't what I was going to plan on doing, we could set up uh, a trade based on what we see here. And we might say, looking at that chart, that, uh, you know, it seems to have hit a little bit of a limit here. So where does that put us at? Three, 330 is the tops. So we could say maybe that the 330, where are you? Right here. We could... Uh, Where's my bid in my ask? How about that? There it is, 330. We're gonna sell this one, buy that one, and notice that it's putting it down here. And I'm doing singles. This is a manual way of doing it. Um, and then what would I say would be my low? Let's go with 310. We're gonna sell that one and buy that one. So this is essentially an iron condor. This is an iron condor, it's just I didn't do it uh, the other way, right? So and then of course you can go to your risk profile, see that it looks like an iron condor, right? There it is. We can hit, hit this up in another video, but I just wanted you to see. The analyze tab is kind of nice, right? Let's you know where you are now, where you are at expiration. What do you say? We'll do that in another video, right? Okay, so now you know, as a quick review, how to customize uh, your uh, options chains to have the layout that you like um, in the two different places you're going to see your options chains. So, hope you found this useful. Leave me a like if you liked it. Leave me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. But of course, I would also love to hear from you in the comments. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you again in another video.